Question 18. Suppose that Professor X develops a new model of computation called a neutron machine. Which of the following would be a consequence of the Church-Turing thesis? So we have this neutron machine. It's some new concept Professor X has uh, puzzled out. Uh, which of the following would be a consequence of the Church Turing thesis, okay, A, that no neutron machine can solve the traveling salesman problem in polynomial time. Well, we don't know. It's never been proven. We don't know if his machine uh, can solve it or not. The Church Turing thesis got nothing to do with that, so maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but it's not a, a result of Church Turing. B, no neutron machine can solve the maximum matching problem for bipartite graphs in polynomial time. Again, this is not something that um, uh, is a result of Church-Turing, same reason as, as the first one. C, no neutron machine can determine whether the decimal expansion of pi has seven consecutive sevens. Again, unproven issue, we do not know if it can do it or not. It's not a, a consequence of church Turing. D. No neutron machine can simulate a given Turing machine in polynomial time. Well, the Turing machine might not run in polynomial time. You can't, you can't uh, um, simulate it in polynomial time, but that's not really what the uh, uh, church Turing says. Uh, e. No neutron machine can determine in polynomial time whether a given Turing machine halts when its input tape is initially blank. Now, that's the halting problem. Um, basically, the Turing machine cannot determine if it, if it will halt in polynomial time, and no machine that tries to determine whether a Turing machine can do it in polynomial time can do it in polynomial time. That's not something that's hypothetical. That's proven to be the case. So the answer Uh, the answer, and just check out Church Turing, but the answer to the question 18 is E.